Hi, welcome to 3 Minute Maths. This is all about multiplying fractions. So let's go right ahead, have a look at a particular problem. So we've got something like 2 thirds times 3 quarters. OK, well what we can do is we can multiply the numerators, that's the numbers at the top, together. And we get 2 times 3 is 6. And then the bottom we can multiply the denominators together, which is these numbers. And 3 times 4 is 12. So then we can reduce that by dividing the top and bottom by 6 and that will give us 1 half. That's fairly straightforward and perhaps not a bad way of multiplying fractions. However, one of the things that is very useful is to start to reduce fractions before you do this multiplication at the end. Let me show you what I mean. So if I just rewrite that slightly as that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top by 2. And if I divide the top by 2, I've got to divide the bottom by 2. So top by 2, that would become 1, and that would become 2. Now I'm going to divide the top by 3 and the bottom by 3. So that's going to become 1, and that's going to become 1 as well. So now when I multiply out, my numbers are a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to deal with. So I've got 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. I'm still going to get the same answer, but it just means that I've dealt with the reduction a little bit sooner on. Uh, OK, so with a situation like that, it's fairly straightforward, but it does come into its own where you've got bigger numbers to deal with. So let's have a look at something like this. So this is 3 and 3 eleven. so I'm going to multiply that by 2 and 9 twelfths. Well, the first thing about multiplying fractions is you need to make sure that you've got fractions. So you need to make sure you've got improper fractions. In this particular case, where some people call them top-heavy fractions. So what I do is I convert that, and that's going to be 36 over 11. If you need to know how to do that, you need to have a look at some of the other videos. I'm going to multiply that also by converting that, and that's going to be 35 over 12. OK, so I'm going to try and reduce this and make it a little bit easier to deal with. I could multiply 36 times 35 and divide that by 11 times 12. It's going to be hard work, so I want to make the numbers as small as I can. So let's just rewrite it as that. OK, now I can't do anything about the 11 because it's a prime number. It's going to be hard to divide by anything. But I can do something with the 12 and the 36. So if I reduce that by 12, it becomes 1. I reduce that by 12, it becomes 3. So now I've got slightly easier numbers to deal with. So 3 times 35 is going to be 105. And 11 times 1 is 11. So actually the answer to this question as an improper fraction is 105 divided by 11. OK, so I need to convert that back into a mixed number. Well, what I do know is that 10 times 11 is going to be 110. Well, I've only got 105 to play with, so actually it's going to be 9 full holes, if you like, and then the bit that's left. 9 times 11 is 99, and the bit that's left is going to be 6 elevens. OK, so it's a fairly easy way of reducing and making sure that the numbers that you deal with are a little bit easier. I hope that's been helpful. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.